Oh, guess what? We're doing it all over again. The light, <laughs> it's always shining bright when it comes to Mr. Wonderful. But I got you beautiful people out there in the YouTube airwaves. The fellas and those beautiful ladies out there, the cheerleaders. I appreciate you for coming in to the FC Sneaker Factory once again. Once again, we're doing another sneaker profile, but this time 127. And we're going back, like I said, back in time when we did a live together back on March 3rd of last year when I busted out some black slash Tiffany blue boxes SBs. Oh, that was a beautiful live because those were some beautiful shoes. And of course, Mr. Wonderful was looking beautiful on YouTube once again. So here we go. As you can see, in case you missed last couple days ago, the video that dropped, you know you, wait, let's, you know what, let's take it back a little bit. So in case you're wondering, well, what happened to the shorts when it comes to this specific shoe? Well, remember, I did shorts on these shoes already in the past. This is when I was discovering how to do shorts as far as, you know, what to add to them. And I can add music and all that stuff. So if you wanted to see a short on these specific shoes, you have to go back to the beginning and take a look at those and I would really appreciate the views on that. Thank you so much ahead of time. So that's why you're not getting shorts on these because I already did them and I'm not gonna recreate them. But if you wanna go to my Instagram, Floyd Chavez Jr., you'll see me there and you'll see shorts on these shoes. So you can take a look at them there, which will be even better because I'm working with a little bit more time when it comes to those reels. So with all that said, you see the jacket, in case you're wondering, well, when did that release? I don't I don't recall that. Well, you know what? This was back in 2008, 2009, I want to say around that time period when I purchased this jacket. As you can see, it's a black windbreaker, but it does have that beautiful elephant print. And of course, the Nike SB hit right there. This is a great jacket. I'm very grateful and blessed to have this one still in the collection as far as jackets go, because who would have thought that this would still be around and I'm sure if I hit the resale market with this jacket, it would it would get a ton of money. But you know what? I wanted to keep this because one, huge fan of SB, but also two, it does have that black elephant print that you just typically do not see anymore. But let's take a look at the entire fit. I am about to go out after I drop these, making done making these videos, but I do got that black fundamental Lulu T. And of course, I got some... There you go, some seven jeans on, a little bit darker wash when it comes to these jeans, but it just makes it go wow as far as the outfit goes. But let's go ahead and take a look at these beautiful shoes. Like I, I dropped the first video a couple days ago, sneaker profiles 126, now we're doing it 127, and I only thought it would be right for, make, for putting these shoes back to back because they are a package deal when it comes to this specific collaboration so here we go in case you're wondering what is the black slash tiffany box well here you go this is what you're looking at it right here you do got that glossy feel on this box so it, it makes it even more beautiful but let's take a look at the label on this one nike sb dunk low pro qs but this one says white black orange flash sounds a lot like last profile but it is a way different shoe when it comes to the shoes. I got this one back on Mar I'm sorry, May 30th, 2020. So I got this one back, you know, a few years ago. A few years ago when it came to this one. But this was another shoe. Wait, let me take let let's just take a look. Let's take a look at the packaging here. So this one, there you go. The black wood grain paper always my paper is always so nice and fresh not all trash like some people do it lord forgive them for they know what know what they do but here we go so last time i showed you the nike dunk sb ray gun the home edition well let's take a look at the visitor like i said i only felt like it was right to bust this one out right after so I did not get this for retail. I had to pick this one up on StockX. In case you're wondering, well, 
you know, how come you didn't try to get it for retail? Well, I don't have any luck when it comes to skate shops because that's not where I typically shop at this point in my life. You know, I'm kind of out of that realm of clothing, but I do like a, you know, I do like some skate wear here and there. So don't count me out as far as buying clothing from, from any skate shops. It's just typically I don't shop at those places very often. So, you know, if I went in there, put raffle tickets in there, I probably wouldn't get any love because, you know, I'm not one of those frequent shoppers like the majority that typically do win the raffles when it comes to skate shops. But this one right here, this one, I have to honestly say this is my favorite out of the two. And there's a couple reasons why. But let's take a closer look because obviously I gave you the live back in of last year, back in of March. But you know what? It wasn't a great enough live because you know what? Let's do this in a 4K fashion right here. Boom. The Nike Dunk SB Ray Gun, the Visitor Edition. Beautiful pair right here. You want to call it the Visitor. You want to call it the, the Away. Whatever the hell you want to call it. It is what it is. But this shoe was released back in December 27, 2019. So it was coming towards the end of December when these came out. Just like it's... I would say sister pair, same time frame. They both released at the same time and they both hit the skate shops. I do not recall these ever hitting the sneaker app, but correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I do not recall that. So this was a time, 2019, when, when SB was on the rise, right? It was on the rise after so many down years, people weren't giving a shit about SBs, but during this time, they started bringing out some heaters. They started going back to the archives. In case you missed last or last profile, I said these are a spinoff from the original pair that dropped in the pink box era. And that was around 2000, 2005 was when that when this specific pair did release. All right. So the pair that was a spinoff on this one was an all white pair. No tie-dye going on in on that pink box era, that 2005 pair. But that's why I want to feel like they started picking up traction because they started going back to the roots as far as what made them popular. And this was one of the iconic pairs from the pink box era that made them popular. So they basically just took that pair and did a spinoff when it came to this one. So here we go. Beautiful pair right here. Like I said, it came back. It came out on December 27, 2019. Retail price, 100 bucks. I wish I would have got it for a retail price. But this one, basically, just like the sister pair, but obviously this is an all-white pair. No black when it comes to the tumble leather, but it does have that beautiful black swish. So here we go. You do got this nice, nice leather right here. This is that tumble leather. I want to say this is a better better leather than what that black pair was, the home pair that I showed you last time. But I might just be tripping, but it does feel a little bit more better quality of tumble leather. So here we go. So we got all white. You do got that orange tie-dye look right there as far as, you know, that side panel goes. You do got that beautiful black tumble leather swoosh. And here we go. We go bl more blend into that yellow tie-dye psychedelic color whatever you want to call it of course you got your little alien the ray gun right there with his ray guns his laser guns pointing to opposite sides you do got that nice beautiful nike embroidered more of that tie-dye yellow more of that tie-dye orange right there here's the medial side and then here's a couple of things why i really like this pair so i really like that black stitching which is really cool i think that's a nice touch and of course that black outsole it makes it a lot easier to wear when it comes to, for me, when it comes to shoes, I love that black outsole. So this one I actually have worn. You know, like I, I haven't worn the home pair, but I have worn this one, the Away, the Visitor's pair. But here we go. This is what you would see if you're looking down at your feet and had this beautiful shoe on. I have the black laces. I want to say this is the laces that came with the shoe as far as originally released uh laced up of course you got that nike sb ray gun hit on the tongue tag and then of course that 58 right there the jersey number 
So if you remember or you recall, so they do come with some white laces. Oh, they took it back to the roots with that. They do have the white laces in the in the plastic bags, like back in the day. I love that. But if you recall from the last profile 126, the home pair, the insole was orange and white. This one is yellow and white. And as you can see, I probably wore black socks. See that black residue, but yeah, not too bad. And of course you got that nice black ankle collar, beautiful. So, I mean, like I said, or like I've been saying, this is my favorite pair out of the two. I like this pair a lot. I feel like it's more functional because one, it's the blackout. So that's what does it for me. But also I love that black stitching. I don't recall the other one, the home pair having that black stitching. I may have to go back and look at that, but beautiful shoe. What do you think? Which one is your favorite out of the two? Out of these two that I passed showed you, do you prefer the away, the visitor, or do you prefer the home? I would like to know what you think. And you know what? This is not, the, the lighting is really bright. This is not showing that this is not actually all white. It does have some like, I want to say gray, like psychedelic color going on. And I'm trying to pick it up, but you can barely see it right here. See, there's some little gray psychedelic colors going on in the white. So it's not totally white. Which is just makes it even more better because like if you got it a little dirty, you probably would just be like, oh, that's just a part of the shoe. You wouldn't even think twice about it. But beautiful shoe right here. Here's a little bit more better hit. See that? More of that gray psych psychedelic uh, paint going on right there in the leather. Beautiful shoe though. Let me know how you feel about this one. Sneaker Profiles 127. As always, Mr. Wonderful delivers like every single profile that I do. I'm always delivering the hits. I appreciate you first stopping on by, but guess what? We're going to do it in a couple of days. In case you wanted to go check out this short, go back into the archives of content that I have created. You'll find it there. If you want to go catch it on my Instagram, The Real, I'd really appreciate that. And if you're there, you might as well, if you're not following me, do yourself a favor and follow me on there. I appreciate each and every one of you, but guess what? In a couple of days, we'll be doing it all over again. Sneaker Profiles 128 will be in front of you in a couple of days, so hopefully you'll tune in. But like I always say, Mr. Wonderful Floyd on YouTube is just too sweet.